Okay, now we're gonna continue with the rotations, but now we're gonna rotate a shape, a shape. All right, now it's easy. It's easy if you understand the points, and now let's just make up a shape here. Let's say I get this, um, let's start with a simple one here like this. And like, where should I put this? Hmm, right here? Sure. Okay. All right, so very similarly, similarly the way we did one point at a time, when you have a shape, you kind of do the same thing, right? I'm gonna rotate this one 90 degrees, and whether they, whether they ask you to sketch it or whether, or whether they ask you for the new coordinates, it's the same thing. You're gonna use the same approach. But when I say 90 degrees, I gotta tell you clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's go clockwise. All right, so I got the shape and I'm gonna hold this here and it rotate 90 degrees clockwise is to the right, right? So I'm gonna turn it right there to the right, okay? Oops, let me finish right there. So notice now it's down on the bottom quadrant, quadrant four, right? Let me go back to the way it was. When you started, it was here in quadrant one, but since we're turning it clockwise, 90 degrees only, it's gonna end up down here, facing and looking this other way, see? Kinda looks like this, but when you rotate it, it's not gonna look like this anymore. It's gonna look like it's pointing, this one looks like it's kinda like an arrowhead pointing down. But now when I rotate it 90 degrees, it's like it's down here now and it's pointing this way. Okay, so how am I going to do it? Well, like I said, if you want to use a separate sheet like this, one of these little separate squares, and I'm going to put those same coordinates, 3, 8, 3, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and... Five, three. Okay, it's that same one, right? Same one. And now what are you gonna do to, to draw it or to get the new coordinates? Well, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees clockwise, right? Make sure if it's says clockwise, if it's clockwise, it's to the right. If it's counterclockwise, it's this other way, right? To the left. So if I go this way, boom, 90 degrees this way, I'm here. Now I wanna, I wanna draw this, so what did I say to do? Assume or pretend now this is like your X and this is like your Y, right? And now, Get the coordinates here. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and negative three. This one's eight, negative three. So I'm gonna go over here and put that one at eight, negative three. Then I come back here and this one's at eight, negative eight, right? Positive eight and down eight, so that's eight, negative eight. So I come over here and I go 8 and negative 8. And then remember I rotated it, boom. And now this would be at what? 1, 2, 3, and down 5. 3 positive and down 5, so that's 3, negative 5. And this would be 3 negative 5 and this would be the way you would rotate a shape exactly like we were practicing and doing with points well very similarly with the with the shape and if they just want you to draw it well then you draw it and if they ask you for the coordinates well we have them already right we did them over here 
right? So you pretend it's not here. Remember, it's not, pretend that's blank right there. And then when I rotate it 90 degrees, see now it's there and it's pointing this way. Well, see, there it is. Okay, that's rotating clockwise. And then let's just do one rotating counterclockwise. It's very similar, right? So let me go here, rotate 90 degrees, counterclockwise, counter clockwise. But some people like to write just C and C and W for counterclockwise and only CW for clockwise, counterclockwise. But I'm going to use a different shape. What if I use a shape and they go right here like so? What if I use this shape here? Boom, boom, and boom. No, not that one. Let me go here. I didn't, I don't want it to be on a straight line, that's why. Forget that point. We're doing this. Um, counterclockwise does not mean to the right. Counterclockwise is to the left, like Beyonce, right? So this is what? This coordinate is negative 2, 9. Let me go over here, negative 2, 9. This coordinate is negative 5, 2, negative 5, 2. And this coordinate is negative 10, positive 4. Okay, so I'm using this separate one to help me out. If you want to just use this one, you can do that, but I just don't want to get lost, so I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, so I put it there, right? They're overlapping. Now I'm going to rotate it clockwise, not clockwise, counterclockwise. Always check if it says clockwise or counterclockwise. So now this one's going to go where? A 90 degree turn. Stop right there. Just 90 degrees. 90 degrees is just a quarter of a turn, right? Boom. So now you got to assume this is now your x axis, right? And this is your y axis. And now you're going to tell me the coordinates here. And that'll be what? 9. Uh, actually, on this side would be negative 9, negative 2. This one's negative 9, negative 2. Is that right? No, that's negative 9. Yeah, that's right. Negative 9, negative 2. Well, let me put it here. Negative 9, negative 2. Oh, I went this way, right? Then it was, what, this one? So I'm going to pretend. So this is negative 2, negative 5. Negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. Negative 2, negative 5 is that one. So I go over here, negative 2, negative 5. And finally, this one's going to be what? Negative one, two, wait, one, two, three, negative four, negative ten. Ugh, negative four, negative ten. And then you put that over here, negative four, negative ten. And see the way it looks here? That's exactly how it's going to look here. And if they ask you to just draw it, well, that's what we're doing. And if they ask you for the coordinates, well, I just did that also, right? You should be able to do both. So I know it doesn't look like it, but just follow the red one, and you'll see that when I rotate it, it's going to be pointing the way this one is. Watch. Check it out. This is our first one, the red triangle. But when I rotate it 90 degrees, it's going to look like that one. Ready? Watch. 90 degrees. See? It's exactly what, it's exactly what this blue one looks like. Let me put it back again. All right, so we're doing it right. Get that. 
This red one will look, and it'll be like this right here when I turn it 90 degree clock, counterclockwise. You see it there? All right, you guys. There it is. I think this is the easier way. All right, hope that helps. Good luck.